Sorry, I'm not sure what's going on. Our internet is very slow and kind of wacky. Someday I'm going to be a big girl shop and then I will have real internet and then fairies will come and clean and stuff and then I'll sing and it will just be this. It'll be awesome. Except for the singing part because I'm really bad at that. So I may want to. What are you singing? I'm not singing anything right now because I still want people to shop here. So, um, <laughs> but that's good. Someday when I'm a big grown up shop, that's what's going to happen. This temporarily while I'm working on the elevator. Sure, no problem. Do you need some help? Just a little bit. Okay. No, you can close the whole thing if you need to. That's Sorry fine. Sorry for the crazy day. Sorry for the crazy. Like I just talked to my husband. It's a reality of life now. Yeah. It is a reality of life. It's sad and it's very scary. The I state know of those people though. I know. It's very scary. It's very awful. But my, my friend who's still a librarian there said this summer they had practiced this so much into the fact that they know how to get the kids on the buses and out of there Good. as fast as possible. So this. he said, no, no, um, all the kids are out, but I know teachers. So please keep us in good starts at Licking Valley Middle School Okay. in Hanover, Ohio. Okay. I feel so bad because it's a brand new superintendent. Oh, poor and thing. since July they've had a student die. They had a principal commit suicide his first week of school, and now this. Boy, trial by fire. Trial by fire. I will keep you posted. I'm yes, so sorry do. I lost it. No, no, my goodness. My first glance down when he said that was, I thought it was where my granddaughter was. Yeah, no, it's thank goodness. It's, it's not, not any better. No, no. Because I know all terrible. those kids. No, those terrible. are all my students' kids know, there, I know, too. I know. So. It's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. So keep, keep us posted on that, because mm. that's... Just the one of the, I want to wrap my kids in bubble wrap, but they chew their way out anyway, but. And, and, and kids at Valley where I taught are so down to earth. Mm -hmm. And when, when Columbine happened, I remember going in the next day and the, 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 the you know, it, it was kind of a weird feeling, but they were saying, finally at the end of the day, the kids wanted to talk to me. And they said, and what they were upset about was <clears throat> the fact that the, the rumor was, a teacher stuck his head out the door and ran and left them alone. And I said, I would never do that to you. I don't know that I'd go lock the door. I may send whoever's annoyed me the most that day <laughs> to go lock the door. But I said, I would not leave you. I promise no. you, no, I you will can't. never they're leave your, you. They're, they're your kids. Oh, yeah. God, they've got armed SWAT teams at every door. Good. Good. You know, I mean, it's, it's they're your kids. So, Anyone that's been a teacher. I, and, and they said, well, you know what? We figured it out. We'd, 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 we'd go out the window, Mrs. Kirby, and it was those low windows that opened up like that. And I said, well, I thought about that too. But you guys would all get out and the headlines would say, teacher shot in the butt and we're trying <laughs> to escape because I would get stuck. <laughs> and they said, no, <laughs> we, we would, um, we'd, we'd throw a desk through the window and get you out. <laughs> and you know what? That's all they wanted. They wanted the reassurance. That we would be there and you know that if you remember what happened after Columbine schools all over the country they were having to cancel because kids would show up in trench coats they would show you know they yeah. would call in bomb scares our kids never did one thing no we, not one thing it was business as usual yeah. we went they had the reassurance from us that we would not leave them right. and we had an interim principal at the time and once again I'm the one that went head-to-head -head with him in a teachers meeting because Weird. he wanted to do a surprise one a mock no, attack no, to see how we would react. No. And I stood up and I said, I will never let that happen. These kids have been nothing but perfect since the day this happened. Right. And I said, I will call every single parent in the district and tell them what you're doing. And he said, would well, you have a better idea? I said, yeah, you should be thanking them. He says, okay, then you come up with something. I said, I will. So I walked in. He goes, you can't get out of class for it. I said, fine. So I walked into his office. I said, give me a hundred bucks. And he said, okay. So <clears throat> there was a morning during homeroom. Every single kid got called down to the gym. And they're like, oh, we're in trouble now. Blah, blah. And when they walked in, we had a teacher's pep band, teacher cheerleaders. Te and we thanked them. That's all we did. And we handed them each a candy bar as they went out. And they came up to me all day long and kept saying, I've never had a teacher thank me before. Oh, it's wonderful. It's so I'm just telling you, they're putting arm swat at every door in the high school and middle. But my son said, everybody's out. Now, okay. the kids are out. It appears to be clear and they're sweeping. Okay. They're, they're sweeping, appears clear, putting arm swat at every door in high school and middle school. And the parents have showed up with guns. Well, so it's like, uh, you know, uh, I mean, that's... It's country. It's, We're out in the country. Well, You've you know, heard me talk about them, how much I love them. And Well, in the South, too. I don't, you know, I can't fathom that that wouldn't be the case here. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on. I'm a little calmer. 
Um, my son was upset because his best friend's kids are there. And, you yeah, know, all course. those kids, Danielle. Our, our, well, you've heard me talk about Donna, mm -hmm. the, the bus driver, mm -hmm. who we're always in trouble with. And, you know, yeah, it's all her grandkids are there. Yeah, it's, it's just, I love them, every yeah, single one. I know. So I will be on Facebook probably the rest of the day trying to get a hold of people and finding out what's going on. Sure I will okay. let you know. Just yeah. keep the, it's just a little country school. It's so scary. It really is so scary. So I, I'm going to go back to what I was talking about okay. with yarn. I'm yeah. sorry. I even, I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, the more times a yarn is twisted, the more durability it will have. The less a yarn is worsted, the sooner it will get shabbier looking. So just keep that in mind. Well, and you got to remember, you know, too, twist. you get what you pay for. So if you're using cheap, crappy yarn, then it's going to fall apart. It's going to fray. It's going to get those little, you know, little... Um, balls of pills 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 thank you um whatever the word is so it's it's if you spend money on good yarn it lasts i mean if it, it's worth it too if you are spending you're giving it as a gift you're keeping it as a mento, memento i mean things can last for generations i mean they're digging, you know they're finding things that were were created thousands of years ago that are still intact because they used raw good fibers so you know it, it does it does help to buy Good and, stuff. And, and we talk about, you know, people say, oh, I'm allergic to wool, you know, and, and, and check because there are so many different kinds of properties out there now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I'm not, you know, but this is a point she makes. It's got to be resilient. And if you notice, yarn is, a uh, wool is resilient. It has a little mm -hmm. bit of give to it. Mm -hmm. And that's why a sweater that works in, you know, in, and you gotta look at what kind of sweater design you're doing. Why a sweater in wool may work and a sweater in linen will not, mm -hmm. because a linen will stretch. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, a lot of people say they're allergic to wool. Uh, first of all, you may, if you have an actual allergy, it may be the lanolin in the wool. So doing something that's a super wash blend will be better. But there's other stuff too that works just as well. We <coughs> have this rowan that is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful right here. Um, this is called soft yak, okay? And because uh, of what it's made of, it's very, very soft. It's soft against your skin, and you're not going to have that allergy, but you are going to have a, a lot of similar qualities with the yarn. It's just you're not going to have the itchiness to it. Same thing with mohair. A lot of people have this kind of allergy if it's around their neck because of the fibers in it, and then you're all <laughs> trying to get it out of your eyes and your and That's your how I get it with mohair. <laughs> trying to get it out but but yeah so that's kind of um you know things to think about and it, go to your local yarn shop and say listen here's a sweater i want to make what do you recommend and be open to get some suggestions because you know if you have a no i'm only going to use this and this says wool yeah and i but i'm allergic to wool there's other things you can do i mean there's you can knit with anything right. you just have to you adjust. just have to know what's resilient and what's not right. and non-resilient they're going to stretch yes so make get a little smaller right just know ahead of time. Do. Be smart. No, you might need small. to block it a bunch. <laughs> Every time you wear it a couple times, you may need to block it. So um, I did want to talk about a few new... Um, so I have had Malabrigo in here forever because I just love it. The colors that they have are so... I don't even know how they get the saturation point that they do with, with these colors. Um, but I did get a couple new ones in. So we have this one. It's called Rasta. And I love it because, you know, it does look like big, chunky, lovely dreadlocks. But not but not smelly like dreadlocks. Um you know, dirty dreadlocks, not clean dreadlocks. There's, there's a contestant on The Amazing Race and uh, that just started, Amazing Race. There's a lady on it that has these kind of colored dreadlocks Ooh, on down, and it's gorgeous. I bet it's She's so pretty. She's real hippie to be though. She's yeah. like, I know I'm on my journey that I'm going to possess love and peace, love and peace in the very first episode, the very first challenge. I can't get it! <laughs> Love and, love and peace. Love and peace. Karma. And we've forgotten. She's oh. fighting with her partner. We have now, now, now. I'm like, love and peace. That went right out. Yeah, right out the right window. Out the window. I love that. Competition. I, I know. Don't you love it on the show? Because they always go, we never fight. Oh, yeah. We're so in love. Yeah. Move your friggin' now. <laughs> Well, I told her, I said, I think Troy and I would be actually very good on that kind of a race because my husband's very smart and he's very, very athletic, um, but we would we'd probably kill each other within the first yeah, episode. One of us would go over a cliff. Yeah, we'd, yeah, have to, we'd, have to, we'd have to die. Someone would have to die and it would be me because he's far, far stronger and craftier. But oh, this God. is the other color raft, ra, uh, Rasta that I have in, and I've had this other one that's kind of like purpley, um, blue, gray. It's, they're so pretty and they're so much fun to knit with and they just knit up really quickly so it's great for a hat 
or Cowell. And, and again, if you are not local for us, I can ship. So don't be afraid to, to you know, go with that. But then we have some other, that um, Arroyo here. It's I nice. love that. Uh, it's just, and it's, somebody actually made, uh, what was it? I have sock yarn of theirs too. They did that in this, this in sock yarn. Um, this is Arroyo, but this, uh, it was so breathtaking that I was like, man, now I want to knit socks and I don't, I'm not a sock knitter. I don't love it, but she does. So, but so then we have, you know, and I got um, these and I ordered this beautiful color, this teal for um, one of my customers and it's absolutely gorgeous. And so if you need something ordered, I can, I can do that and we can have a drop ship right to you. So if that's something that you're working with, um, of course, it's always great, best to see the yarn in, in person so that you, you know, really get what it looks like and feels like, but this is just like a little speckly, it looks like a little birthday cake. So anyway, we got, you know, kind of new, we're grow growing little, little bits at a time as when you have only 300 square feet to play with, you know, you've got to just ease your way towards it. So, so that's what's going on. Well, here's the latest update. Columbus right. SWAT is in route. Columbus is a big county. Uh, Delaware County is coming in to watch Newark schools. Newark schools is the big, like Bluffton. Okay. And they've been told anybody so much as shoves someone you will go to jail until this is over. Good. Well, you Good. know what? I you got to control the other kids in the other you places. All day, the whole—I mean, that was handled so so poorly, and yes. so many. Yes. You know, I think everyone's under the spotlight now to make sure that that, that doesn't happen again. If that doesn't—I'm just going to shut this door. It's a little loud, but um, but you know, here, talk about your the this bags that you This has been a great. Oh, so we do bags here at um, Shrimp and Knits, <clears throat> and I I I've, I've made some for friends, you know, and I didn't like them as well, so I bought a little. A little heat press and it's fabulous it's, i bought it off of um amazon you know during the lockdown i think we ordered every single thing you could ever order from amazon <laughs> sorry everyone so we do these bags yay and they're 15 dollars at the shop mm -hmm. she will ship one to you if you'd like yep. and i just make them on a regular basis and we have we love them yep or if you spend a big amount of money i throw it in there for you fancy like that yeah so here yeah, we've got this going on here. We've got a lot of different fun things going on. I, of course, I have so many projects. So we have a lot of color work that's starting up in the next couple of months. So we've got some hats. We're doing these gorgeous sweaters. Um, we're gonna do a, um, what is it, cafe, cafe? How do you go say his name? Kay Fawcett. Kay, I can never pronounce his name. Kay Fawcett Program where Judy's gonna explain how the whole thing comes together and then everyone can design their own scarf or, or whatever it is. Free that, fall. Free for all, which is pretty much my, the way I live my life. Well, and Kay Fawcett is the way we're doing the, the Mary Poppins. Right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm yeah, learning if to work OCD, with it. If you're OCD like, like Tracy, it drives you nuts. Yeah, She's probably more of a bobbin girl. I'm like, <laughs> constantly I had to go back and try to weave some in because it was robbing me of my will to live. And I hate bobbins because you're always untwisting I'll them. I'll probably do that too, but I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to figure it out. At some point I will get my life together. So as, as Cody Rigsby says, schedule, you know, you have 45 seconds to get your life together. And I, I always need more than that. I always yeah. need more than that, my Cody. My Cody. But, um, yep, so so that's what uh, we're, we're working on. So let's talk a little bit about this um, stocking. So we're going to kind of, you know, put this on pause because right now I, I have to get through my other sleeve and then Judy's going to get through hers. So we're not going to spend too much time talking about it. But if you are Because you guys working, aren't doing it anyways, are you? Let us know. Oh, let us know if you're knitting along with us. Or if there's a project you want us to start, then we can play with that too. I mean, we're not, you know, everything she, every time she shows me something, I'm like, oh, we should do that. How about this one? What do you think about I'm this one? So what I do, we, we're doing that Islington sweater, yes. the Thistle sweater. Yep. And so when I'm at the shop, what do I do at that yarn shop in Columbus? I buy this book fabulous book. Can mm -hmm. I find a sweater or not? So I'm already planning that. Oh. But remember what she said in here under swatching? I don't think you we talked about swatching. You should always yeah. have two or three. Here. No, that's not it. Um, the secret to making a good swatch is thinking and planning two garments ahead. Just as soon as you begin one sweater, start thinking about the next one. And and we don't do it because of we want to make sure the yarn works or anything. We just go, oh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. that. Oh, squirrel, squirrel. Begin playing with the new yarn, exploring its possibilities, giving it time to have long conversations with you, mm -hmm. letting it show you how it will hold up after repeated
what and you kind of understand a lot of it and she shows some different stitches and she talks about what this would be good on and also choosing the right color and you know with color work that's a trick and i and i when i teach color work i, I talk a lot about this because choosing your colors if you're not sure if colors are going to blend Take a picture of it and turn it to black and white. And if those fade into each other, this isn't going to because we're using these two. Right. And this is the toe and up top. Right. So you're really not seeing it because if you would take a colors than you do cool colors so like if you're putting purple and gold I mean so if you go like across the, the color wheel from yellow it's purple you use a little bit uh, you can use like twice as much colors. purple I know, ugh, <laughs> and Ashland colors when I was head majorette I wore white I refuse to wear the gold. Um, just saying. I'm sorry, Ashlyn. Uh, so, like, you got purple...
and of it, right. you know, and we just, we never really had any issues. You know, we had some drills, but you know, they weren't big. Right. So, so, um, it's, it's different for me, but my friend told me this, that one of the reasons why they go through this convoluted thing about you have to show an ID to pick up your kid mm -hmm. and everything is they learned this at She will be so, there so scary. Her. I know. Well, we have been talking about Judy's chart from hell. And so I said, please bring it in because I want to see this. So she had made this gorgeous shrug. Is that what we call it? It's a shrug. shrug. Okay. This and I, shrug. I'm looking for the, the, um, the book. I, I thought I kept the magazine that. was in um, but it's like from 2007 or whatever and I think it was a Vogue 
I gotta see which way it goes. I think that's inside out. That's yeah. inside out. Yep. So you want to hold. Circle that opens up and closes. Clip. And binder clip. Yeah, binder circle. <laughs> binder, binder circle thingy. A circle thingy. You know, punch a, punch a, a hole in it. And then she would, you know, when I was watching her, she would knit and she would look. So if you look at the mine, I wrote it out. And there's dark. Dark lines, I wrote out every single row, which really isn't that many. And I put, so I put, I put a, a, a backward slash where the next chart started, so I knew because I didn't know anything about Right. Looking at the um, the chart, I had it right here, and I've had I, I I said to several people on Ravelry that I had done this when I put it on my project page, mm -hmm. and I <coughs> I had several people contact me and say I have the pattern.
that I'm working on. So that way I can see below, but it kind of blocks off. So it shows me exactly where I am. Plus A, I'm blind as a bat and B, I have zero short-term memory, which is super, super fun. So, um, so yeah, so highlighter tape is a godsend. And you know, I just started using it just recently. Yeah. In it's the great. last couple of years. It's great. I used to use just post-it notes but then I was finding that my post-it notes after a couple Just, yeah, those are pretty intense. Well, we'll do those last. And then there's a couple when then they've got stuff in here that like, you know, as you're going in and then you have to knit through the back of this one and pearl on this one. And then this is sort of this, they're sort of this. And so it definitely gets convoluted. And, and when you're trying to, that's why, you know, if you're just beginning, the, Writing it out works, yeah. Because if they just have the symbol and you have to keep looking to see what that right. symbol is, <laughs> right. you can just put it in. Right, three to the front. Well, oh, it okay. kind of this universal key but at the same time it's like I'm not sure what this one is so live and learn that's how that's why you know I figure if I'm not making mistakes I'm not trying or I'm not thinking or I'm just breathing in and out because that's pretty much how I do so
Across Ohio, police reported responding to hoax calls of active shootings on Friday, although it is not known yet if the Licking Valley situation is connected. So it may be something that's going got across stupid TikTok or something. I went, I taught at Licking Valley. Of course you did, girl. Going down. We're I'm all sorry. Going down I do not. If we are I do all not cry. going down with her. I do not cry. No, I, I never cry. No, no, we're not criers. That's not and, we, we deal I, with. Humor. I lost it. We deal with humor, so it's understandable. I would have too. So you, I wouldn't have even been here if it was about my kids. I'd have been like, bye, and I, I would have just taken off. So, um, so anyway, we are now at our hour. and I thank you so much for joining us. Again, I will not be... Oh, there's nothing you can do. I know. It's awful. I know. When when um, nine eleven happened, I knew that my friend that lived down below, I mean, that worked in the in the special ed department, her son in law was at the Pentagon, and all of a sudden it dawned on me. I went April, and I went running down the stairs, and. They said she went home and I said, okay. And she came back in the afternoon after they found out because her son was actually on a subway. He had gone to Baltimore for a, a meeting or whatever. 